Long ago, Francis Bacon wrote, there is no excellent beauty that has not some strangeness. If we turn this motto around, we might have a good motto for modernism. There is no strangeness that has not some excellent beauty. Sometimes modernist strangeness is so uncanny that it seems extraterrestrial. There is, of course, a good deal of older art that makes you dizzy by means of eerie dislocations or transgressions. But in the period covered by this course, from 1872 to 1927, the vertigo grew more intense than ever before. The modernists seemed determined to violate every rule of art, every rule of decorum. The modernists were an aggressive lot and tended to work at the very limits of artistic media to make art hyper-expressive or inexpressive, to make art that looked forward to a technological future or art that looked backward to an archaic or prehistoric past. Oddly enough, these opposites tended to converge, to look remarkably alike. As T.S. Eliot remarked when he heard Stravinsky's Rite of Spring, a ballet set in pagan Russia, the music seemed to transform the rhythm of the steps into the scream of the motor, the rattle of machinery, the grind of wheels, the beating of iron and steel, the roar of the underground railway, and the other barbaric noises of modern life. The past and the future sound just alike sometimes in the world of modernism. The Flintstones and the Jetsons are often the same show. In this course, we'll look at a number of multimedia works of art to see how the media interact with one another. Often, as in the Rite of Spring, the music, the stage shakar, the dance, create a single, strikingly intense effect. But sometimes artists play games by making counterpoints, dissonances between one medium and another. As in the Three Penny Opera, where Kurt Weill composed music that was deliberately the wrong music for Bertolt Brecht's words. When Brecht wrote a cynical duet for a thief in his mall, love lasts or not, here or in some other spot. Weill wrote a swooning romantic tune purely for the sake of outraging bourgeois sensibilities. It can be fascinating the ways in which one artistic medium can heighten another, or co-opt it, or cancel it out completely. The story of modernism is also a story about the component isms that make it up. Impressionism. Expressionism. Futurism. Dadaism, Surrealism. Some of the material covered in this course you may find overtly charming. Some of the material you may find savage and dark. But I hope that everything will finally be a source of delight. <laughs>